Hey friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my first video on MSPI. Yes, I am starting up my MSPI video series where you can learn, where you can catch up of learning the MSPI step by step with a real time example. Yes, all the videos will be recorded with the real time examples where you can learn easily MSPI step by step. So today's topic is about what is MSBI and its different tools. Means we will talk about MSBI and the process of using the different tools for BI solutions or data mining. So agenda for today's video is pretty simple that we are going to understand about MSBI and we will also talk about the three different tools of MSBI for BI solutions. That is nothing but SSIS, SSAS and SSRS, SQL Server Integration Services, SQL Server Analytical Services and SQL Server Reporting Services. This is Gurunath Adogi from OnlinePub.com. So let's get started with the video. What is MSBI? MSBI stands for Microsoft Business Intelligence. Yes, this powerful tool is been developed by the Microsoft for any kind of BI problems and also for data mining queries. Yes, this powerful tool uses yet again Microsoft Visual Studio, Microsoft Visual Studio data tools and also SQL Server as a database. So for any kind of problems, for any kind of BI problems, we can use MSPI that is Microsoft Business Intelligence. Now let us understand this uh, MSBI fundamental with, with some real time example. I will take up a simple example of a Facebook. Yes, you guys must be using a Facebook a lot because it's a social media. Uh, it's, it's a social media website. Okay, where you can chat, we can connect with your friends, you can post, you can uh, you can do lot many stuffs on Facebook. Okay, Facebook is a very good social media site. Okay, so let's let's understand uh, Facebook in terms of how how if a Facebook have a MSBI thing, then how the Facebook can grow much faster. Okay, I know Facebook must be having more advanced version of the MSBI. They can they are already a way far ahead what I am thinking right now. Okay, the company is already uh, grown to the millions of billions of uh, turnover. Okay, it, it is doing pretty well. Okay. So let's understand this in uh, to make you understand let let's understand this you know how the Facebook must be functioning okay let's suppose Facebook is is having lots of data lots of data millions of data you know millions of customer database now let's suppose they want to understand if they want to take a better business decisions you know if they want to understand you know how we can go more ahead you know how if I if I, if if we want to target a specific number of ads, if we want to grow a specific number of customers, how do we know you know which uh, from which location a customer is logging in and how what kind of interest he is having so that you know specific ads can be targeted okay and uh, special interest as languages you know what people are using this Facebook if they want to understand everything you know then definitely that company needs to have a MSBI installed okay if the MSBI guy is there you know who, who gathers all the data who analyze the data who take the special reports like Facebook wants for example age group age group wise if the Facebook wants the data if they want to understand yes which age group of people are using this Facebook if they want to understand from which location we are getting maximum number of hits maximum number of clicks if they want to target some some of the custom ad custom demographic ad if they want to target then how can they target to the specific group if they get this kind of uh, specific intelligence report then definitely facebook can do much better you know facebook can take better business decisions you know so that they can they can earn more revenue so for better business making decisions a company should have i must say a company must have msbi thing business intelligence things if if a company is having lots of data and, and they don't know how to how to analyze it how to take the reports from that you know how to 
use that data then definitely that company cannot grow if they analyzed it if they properly uh, taken that uh, integration report if they get that complete report if they know where the company is standing now then definitely they can make a much better decisions if the company knows yes on on the may 2018 i made this much of sales so definitely a company knows you know what will happen in 2019 what will happen in, in my 2020 yes the prediction can be done you know depending on the prediction they can make a much business decisions seasonal a seasonal companies like you know plastic industries who, who works on the seasonal basis they too can help they they too can get uh, they too can take the better business decisions you know depending upon the season yes on this season are uh, this so and so product works on this season so and so product work on this season so and so product works you know so depending on that thing you know they can they too can take the better business decision so i feel personally msbi has been used everywhere you know they they really help us to take the better business decisions to a company grow so msbi are very useful okay so if you just uh, if you just see msbi is very useful nowadays you know for a company for a data oriented company so uh, now let's understand you know it's three different tools now that you are understood you know what is msbi and its definition you know the the powerful suit which has been developed by the microsoft now let's understand the three different process three different tools of of msbi you know that is ssis ssas and ssrs before we go and understand the three tools that is ssis ssas and ssrs let's go and first understand the term business intelligence yes the bi so what is bi bi means a data should should be there with some information yes you are right a data should be present but with some information so what does it means let me explain you let's suppose i have the four names okay as you can see i have four names okay four names means four people four people names are there but this data is not providing any kind of information what what does th this data says means what does this data provides okay so what is the use of this data these are the four names what it is not related to, it is not getting related to some information okay it's a customer data or it's a sales data it's a marketing data what data it is it is not relating to any information so data which provides some information is known as business intelligence yes you are right now i am going to relate this data with some information okay as you can see now the title has been given that this is our, our team layout yes this is my team layout yes my office team and these four are my office people yes he is programmer he is designer he is seo head yes and he is also a programmer now now what i did that a data first the four people names were there that is sachin khadak singh and irappa and etesham but those four people is not relating to any any kind of information now i just related that four people name with some information that is a team my office team and he is a programmer designer seo you know so when that information is getting related when that data is related to some information then that means a business intelligence hope you understand this topic this term bi you no know, business intelligence what does it means okay now bi is a general concept okay bi is a general concept okay there are various companies who provides the tools for the solution of the bi okay so now in this video series okay in in our learn msbi video series we are going to understand this bi this concept of bi with respect to the microsoft tools okay so since this is a video series of learn msbi so we are going to understand this bi concept with respect to microsoft uh, tools yes so let's understand that now so hope hope you have understood this bi term now let's go ahead and understand 
the three different tools of MSB Microsoft that is SSIS, SSAS and SSR. Now let's understand the three tools of MSBI that is SSIS, SQL Server Integration Services, SSAS, SQL Server Analytical Services and SSRS, SQL Server Reporting Services. These are, these are the three separate entities of MSBI. Yes, using these three tools, we can create solutions for the BI related problems. Yes, so let's understand this three concept. Okay, to understand this three concept, we are going to demonstrate as a simple a real time example okay we are going to take up a real time example of a shopping mart with having different outlets okay to do this example i am going to open up my windows paint you know to demonstrate you exactly the complete process the complete work of this three tools you know the use of this three tools in the complete scenario of msbi life cycle or bi related solutions using this three tools yes so let's demonstrate this complete scenario of uh, msbi three tools okay so let me open up my windows paint now as you can see we have opened up the microsoft paint here you know where we are going to demonstrate the msbi complete process the complete three entities process here okay so let's take up example of a shopping mart with different outlets okay so let's suppose i have a shopping mart with the different outlets where i gather the data in three different formats that is that is csv format a text format and sql file okay so these are my three different formats of data which i get okay from the different outlets that is first is my csv text and sql file my handwriting is not that good <laughs> so uh, yeah so let's suppose we have the three outlets where we get the data in different formats that is csv text and sql file okay so this data okay here where the SSIS comes into, comes into the picture, now SSI needs to take care of this raw data which is gathered from the different sources which is been in different formats that is one is in CSV format, one is in text format and one is in SQL format. So now the work of the SSIS is to extract this data then transform it accordingly okay so and load into the data warehouse the so so the data which has been gathered from the different sources needs to go in step by step orders that is first process is to be the data should be extracted yes and date and then the data should be transformed means how uh how ms msbi guy wants that data to be written how we want to accumulate all the data let's suppose this csv file have a customer data and this txt file also have a customer data this sql file is also have a customer data then msk msbi guy what he will do he will accumulate he will append all the data together okay it means he is transforming that data so transformation means it can be anything it, it, he can make that uh, customer name to the lower case he can he can join the customer names together he can do anything in the transformation so the first process is is to extract the data then transform the data and then finally load the data into the data warehouse so this is my data warehouse okay so consider this as my data warehouse where the data came from the data which is gathered from the different formats you know needs to go into the database with the proper etl process only so let me rub this here you know so i am going to just rub this here you know so the process of ssi is pretty simple you know it get it gathers the all the data okay it gathers all the data from the different formats and and then it extracts the data then it transforms as it transforms that data and finally loads the data into the data warehouse so this is my extraction this is my transformation this is my loading so here we go 
so finally the data warehouse where the data is been properly processed and loaded into the database so this is the atl process you know the the raw data has been collected from the various sources then it is it is been extracted here and then transformed here and then loaded into the data warehouse so this complete process is known as ssis process so this complete task done by the ssis using the various tools ssis tools are available on on the msbi visual studio data tools studio so there are various tools are available using that uh, various tools uh, you can do that etl process easily so so this is the complete this is the complete scenario of the ssis now let's go to let's go further you know so now this data warehouse okay we have collected the data from the different sources and we did the extraction transformation and loading process now all the data has been collected in the data warehouse now it's time to do the ssas process now now it means analytical process now we need to do on this data warehouse so the work of ssis process ends here it successfully loads our our shopping mart data into this uh, into into this data warehouse through the etl process so uh, the work has been done from the ssis end but the data which is received here through the etl process it is bulk in nature it is mass in nature we need to simplify we need to simplify this data here where the analytical process comes into the picture here where we need to use our second tool that is ssas so <coughs> so ssas implements olap process you know so that is nothing but olap process online analytical process to simplify this data uh, ssas uses the olap process online analytical process to simplify this data it simplifies the data and creates the cube okay so cubes are basically created through the the data from the data warehouse so cubes are created here through the data warehouse analytically processed data which is created is known as cubes okay so these cubes are multi dimensions okay with with the dimension and facts so what is dimension dimension are basically your customer data your product data okay so these are known as your dimensions what are facts the facts are nothing but your orders your sales these are known as, these are known as your facts so uh, uh, cubes are multi dimensional in nature okay so uh, with dimension and facts which helps us to know the valuable information like recent trends likes dislikes whatever the sales we have done you know if you want to get the reports or if you want to get the analy uh, analysis of uh, five year sales you know then definitely we need to use these kinds of cubes you know to get that valuable information so basically uh, this cubes helps us to get that kind of information uh, which are which is there in in the data warehouse so uh, it simplifies the data so so the work of ssas it simplifies the data through the analytical process okay and and get us the valuable information of sales order products you know so how much a marketing guys did the sales how much products is sold or, or what is what what was the range of the products which which was which were sold here you know so all this important information this this cube gives us now this is where the ssas process ends here now as you can see we have gathered the the data from the different formats and that is csv text format and sql format we have loaded that data into the data warehouse through the etl process where the ssis process ends you know uh, we got the mass data the the data was huge you know we have simplified that data using the ssas olap process okay and created the cube now now this data so we have all the uh, vital information the valuable information in the form of cubes now this data need to be presented somewhere so this is where the ssrs comes into the picture you know so uh, this is the third tool we need to use now 
Now finally to present this analyzed data in a graphical or statistical manner we need to use our last tool that is SSRS. Yes. So because uh, non-technical persons cannot understand this, uh, this cubes, uh, this uh, data warehouse, this, uh, this query process and everything. They need graphical representation. For them this tool is available that is SSRS. SSRS helps us to generate reports in graphical way that is nothing but your CSV format, your Excel format, your PDF format, your tabular format you know depending upon the requirement you can generate this reports. So the use of SSRS is to generate the report from the analyzed data okay as a graphical presentation. So uh, this is the use of our third tool that is SSRS if you want to present the analyzed data in a graphical way or statistical manner way then we need to use this tool. Hey guys this is all about today's video where you have learned what is MSBA and, it, and its three different tools that is SSIS, SSAS and SSRS. Hope you like this video. If you really like this video don't forget to give the big fat thumbs up and uh, if you want to learn MSBA step by step then do subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon if you want to stay updated with my latest updated videos. So thank you very much and if you have any doubts or queries don't forget to comment on this video. Definitely I am going to answer it you know if, for your queries and doubts and uh, so this is all about it. See you next time.